hot coal disposal. They got a ton of good coal in there. But it's like, I cannot cook in something like this. It just blows too much smoke and it makes life horrible. I need an actual stove. I need something that's stove-like that I'll have a pipe and it'll take that heat, take that, take the fumes away like in here. That's the only way I can cook. I cannot cook over an open grill with coal, coal charcoal. So they got these small, small hills for sledding down. And they got rules. Iverson Winter Sports Area. One person at a time. So somebody's big idea. <laughs> it's pretty rare to see in Wisconsin. Stevens Point exclusive. This looks kind of new. They just put some cement at the bottom of the stairs here. Is it new? We got uh, something to discourage people from sliding down in the non-winter times. Oh God, <laughs> you can't slide down that. That's a little rough looking. All right, I feel a little hesitant taking these, putting these maples on my roof because they're kind of fresh still. I'm afraid they'll crack. Just not supposed to have them in the direct sunlight. But I really could use the protection. Seems to me the, the best wood that's not gonna be as rotten, that's cut down. And if it's the right shape, it's going to be found more along a water line, on the beach, maybe a river, not deep in the woods. Deep in the woods seems to bring more mold to dead wood. Crawfish seem to really like this, this stick, or this, this brush. I scared the ones that are closest to me. Oh my god. Ah, uh, so I feel so stupid recording now. I shook this tree and I was just watching the swamp. And then I turn around and see the tail end of a snake move into another hole. <laughs> I have a feeling that I'm going to be seeing a lot more snakes as I move eastward. I didn't I don't recall seeing a single snake in Washington, Oregon, or even California, or even the Rocky Mountains, or the desert. But I'm starting to see them more around around Wisconsin. No reckless riding on the Green Circle Trail. I'm kind of I kind I kind of know where I'm at. And I wanted to point out that this is interesting. The old uh, Civil War style fence. It looks like old, really old wood. Stacking logs on top of each other. Kind of neat. Log cabin like. Using nails to hold it together. They just don't rest. They don't rest comfortably. It's still kind of being used as a boundary for the park. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Using these old nails. They don't look like they're handmade nails. Factory. Wow, this goes quite a ways. One of the longest fences of this type I've seen in a while. 
then just remnants pretty much falling down next to the horseshoe pit. Wow, I still see it. How far do you go? So this park, I think the park probably built it in the 18, late 1800s. Just continues on. It can't possibly wrap around. Oh, it does a little bit. Okay. Now it stops. Actually, they dismantled it. Okay, wow. They dismantled it for this trail. And then a little bit more over here. Stake sitting there. Serve as kind of a gate. I think they built this. I think they piled all these stones for this little creek at the same time as that as they uh, put up that fence because <clears throat> this style is is a handmade in uh thing stevens point wisconsin still stevens point wisconsin all right so this target doesn't open up until 8 a.m it's kind of chilly I'm trying to decide what to do. I think I want to get another comforter. Just a king size comforter that uh, I can use to keep warm at night. I think I got the, enough space. Just trying to decide, but do I want to wait till 8 for that? Because I, I kind of like what the Target has. I looked last night, didn't buy it, and now this morning. I'm thinking I really want to get it after a cold night. So I just threw the seven in the woods over here and while well, I've been cycling through a lot of wood but this is what I'm coming up with this is what I'm ending up with I like what I got and I don't need more I don't feel a need for more maybe there can be experimentation in the future if I think of something else but I'm very happy with what I got here once it's tied up, it's really out of the way. I just saw on a garbage can it said, Stevens Point, Gateway to the Pineries. So I overheard a guy talk about sleeping in the shop goal parking lot at night. It's it's abandoned, it's empty in there. Which it's only shelving. I guess you could get away with it. It's near the bus station. It's got only a sign that says no loitering. I'm surprised there's so many people parked here. Shopco, Shopco parking lots. You, when it was in business, it's being used a lot for just general parking. They owned all this lot. And after Shopco leaves, it almost seems like it hasn't left because it's so full of cars. But there's signs it's abandoned, overgrown weeds on the, the wall. Don't tell me that's a slippery elm. Man, that would be crazy if it was. <sighs> yep. The only time I see slippery elm 
growing against abandoned buildings. That's the first slippery elm I've seen in central Wisconsin. You gotta look for abandoned buildings that have been abandoned for a while and then walk closely around them to find slippery elm. That's uh, not doing great, but uh, better than it can in, the, it's got a better chance against abandoned buildings than in the forest. Well, I see why people are scared of, or scared of me, thinking I'm looking sketchy, because where I was parked, where I am parked, at the end of this trail, or down this trail, people, uh, homeless people are coming, bringing their living out here in the woods. It's, it's a good walk. There's another camp over there. Uh, came from a camp, it was kind of clear. They cleared this out pretty good, but there's this remnants. Very interesting. I didn't expect to see so much homeless stuff, but it explains why people are acting a little scared about this me. All right, smells a little musty, a little moldy, but this is XXL. It doesn't look bad. It's just wet from and moldy. I think I'd like to take this. It was stuffed in the hood and since this is xxl it was stuffed in this jacket which is also likely to be xxl as well the homeless whoever were living oh man this is a long one too homeless people who were living here just like quickly abandoned there was an inner lining to that jacket that's a different kind of snake I just pulled the, the tent up to reveal that. Wow, I do not know. I know that's no garden garter snake. Whew. And I just used my bare hands. I did not expect to see a snake here. Look at this thing. It oh it it'll run. It'll just go deeper into the uh I'd rather not it. It's just going deeper into that tent. Oh God. I'd like to see more of the tent and not of the snake. Oh my God, I've never had a snake hide in a homeless person's tent before. It's a, It's got a small, oh, there's just bit it, bit my stick. Is it, is it, ah, I just bit it again. It's just, it's striking. It doesn't like it. I'd really rather, ah! <laughs> Behind you. Here we go. Uh, oh, it attacked again. It's just going after me. It's, it's tearing up my stick. Oh no. It's, it's really bothersome. <laughs> Oh, it's coming. It wants to come. It knows It knows who's in control of the stick now. It's just a little baby, I guess. Oh, I don't know what kind. It's, it's, it was running, and now it's just fighting. Um, I'd really rather it... Maybe I could just flip it. Maybe I could just flip it up. Oh, no, no, it's... It's... I'm gonna just flip it. Yeah, right on to myself, right? I don't know. Oh, there it is. It's in the plastic bag. When I was flipping through this jacket and the sweater, I could have flipped that snake out. There's a few vodka bottles around. That snake is is a fighter. And then there's probably a big pile of snakes over here too, under wraps. Yeah, three three distinct camps. I obviously did not expect to see that. See these. This is in bad shape. Some kind of blanket. Some kind of pillow. No snakes. Two pillows. Plenty of centipedes. A lot of fish baits. If I knew how to 
handle fish bait better. Blankets, fleeces. Just, oh, that's a sleeping bag. That looks okay on this side. The tarp, I got two. They're part of a tent. Could be a snake under here. And if it's a big one, that's scary. Tiny ones are fine. Let me just poke it a little bit and see if I could agitate it. Get it in the fighting spirit. It's it would if it, if a snake is gonna take anything, it's gonna take the sleeping bag. Nice nice insulation. Oh, something just crawled across. It's ripped. It looks messed up. Uh, well, nothing's coming out. Uh, yeah, I don't know about this one. It looks okay. Oh, man. Why do they leave these things behind? <laughs> Leaving sleeping bags behind. <laughs> It's a little more ripped up than I care for. So if a snake's in there, it'll fall out. Yeah, it's gotta be clear. All right, clear of snakes, but is it clear of mold? Yeah, I'm very interested in this sleeping bag. Polyester resists mold pretty good. It's got the woodsy smell to it. It's not offensive. It doesn't look like it's got anything serious on it. <laughs> that jacket and that sweat jacket. <coughs> they look good. Am I seeing? That was the camp I was at, right? There might be something down further. These are not... They do not have clear trails to them. <clears throat> These people were really stealthing at hardcore with some pretty decent equipment. Yeah, this person really left behind a lot of good winter stuff. Oh, and I just revealed a USB-C cord. Modern day homeless people. This might actually work too. Got a little mold on the end, black mold. It looks okay. Only one way to find out if it still works. They leave behind good things sometimes. Okay, first of all, I, oh, oh, the water is leaking good. First of all, I, 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 I spilt water onto my foot and I revealed a bigger snake. There was actually a, a, a snake. And it went underneath the mattress bed. <laughs> oh, it is a bigger snake. There's its head. Watch it attack. Watch it just attack. It's a bigger snake of the same caliber. Yeah, I could see its skin. Oh my God, it looks so big. It looks so big. Oh, it's coming this way. Okay. Yeah. All right. There's a smaller snake. There's a there's a little baby snake. It's in attack mode. It's just attacking, but the bigger snake. Whoo! It's really it's it's scary. So here I am going for the bigger snake, and I was looking over the smaller snake. It slithered underneath. Look at this little guy, he's in attack mode. Attacking. Oh my God. There's one about four times bigger than that. Okay. So snakes moved in. This is the first time I've ever seen that. Snakes moving into the homeless. You know, I think I'll just, there could be some good stuff under there though. Snakes might be guarding some good stuff. <sighs> but probably not. It looks like the pattern of that... of that paracord. <sighs> uh, 
If I had a longer stick, okay, that's what I'm going to I'm going to stop here. If I had a longer stick for a snake that size, 4 feet is not enough. <laughs> if I came in with the 6 footer or the 5 footers, I'd be more confident, but I'm not, so I'm going to stop. Stop messing with snakes. Yeah, I got really curious about that trail. Just walking down. Can't quite see my car. But it's not too far down to then come down here to then come across some stuff I could actually make use of. Because <sighs> uh, I don't think I want to be rushing down south when there seems to be a lot of snakes eat more east east of the country. I want I want the, the weather to cool down significantly. Because those, those snakes would have been more lively in, what is it, it's like 50, 55, high 50s. They would have been more lively in 80 degree weather. <clears throat> and homeless people tend to uh, be over on the other side, sleeping in the Shopco parking lot. But they've been coming over here until they got discovered. Good spots, but they got discovered. They played, I think it might have gotten sloppy. So this stick got bit at least 10 times by a tiny snake. That's just great, no holes on it. It's still intact. I have turned over and and uh, sh like shuffled through a lot of homeless camp stuff, abandoned camps. Never have I dealt with three, three snakes here. I'd never had a single snake in Texas, Colorado, I don't know, just all over the west half, Utah. I'd never seen a snake. And then I come here, Stevens Point, Wisconsin homeless camp. And you can see it's it's in that with the wood line that's closest to the trail. I almost could see my car. And I deal with three snakes. And wow. They are fighters. So if people know about homeless activity back here. And they didn't the city never posted any warnings. They're just they just say stay out of the private property. I might have been on private property and I've recorded this before, but <laughs> not not being aware of the homeless activity. Just the sketchy uh, behavior of people who pull up in this parking lot when they look at me. Oop. See this, this sleeping bag is all nylon, polyester, nylon, 100% nylon, outer liner, three pounds, 32.84. So nylon has a tendency not to mold over. It's just a plastic. It has to break down on its own. I actually paid $35 for a, a, a king size match. Oh, I got bit on my elbow by a mosquito. Great. Messing around in the woods so much. There's still mosquitoes active. Itchy bump. Okay, yeah, but I spent 35 on a Super King uh, comforter at Target because I was thinking there's no way I'm going to find any more uh, sleeping bags, and here I find one today. Uh, I can't really take that thing back, so I'll be overloaded with blankets, and I, I do kind of have the space. I'll work with it. <laughs> All right, for this jacket, I decided that I didn't want the hood. I unzipped it off. Probably take this zipper off too. But then I pulled the, the zipper off and revealed a polyester filling. But uh, I can sew this. It's falling apart in two spots. I can sew that. So I would prefer the four foot walking sticks for getting under fallen trees. The five foot sticks for getting over five foot trees and the six foot sticks six foot sticks for possibly walking it's a little more difficult but i prefer the six foot sticks for fighting snakes well this is uh quite the advertising for 
a tattoo parlor. Sterilized tattooing. Are they saying that everybody else is dirty? Oh no, no. Actually, they're monkey wrench tattoo. Oh no, no, they're piercing tattoo. They got three different names in this office. All right, I'm a little nervous. <clears throat> I figured I'd see people sleeping downtown. <clears throat> Not far from the library. <clears throat> Public Square. So they uh, signed people up for the Civil War right here in Stevens Point. <clears throat> this is the center of Stevens Point where it started. <clears throat> there was a big farmer's market here that I saw pretty active guy was selling honey over here for $28 for a three pound jar I didn't get any I didn't think it, that price was much different from the stores mm. alright this may not be easy to see they got the standard neighborhood watch sign and then under it they have another practically neighborhood watch sign for Eagle Eye Neighborhood Park Watch because they don't feel that the neighborhood watch program is enough. <clears throat> and they put a phone number, two phone numbers, no phone numbers on the watch program. And there's, there's quite a few homeless people hanging out here. They like to hang out at the shelter. Totally discouraged me from checking it out. There's a bathroom and then a hangout. I wonder if there's electricity. <laughs> But I, I haven't checked. <clears throat> so the most common snack I seem to turn off into is dry roasted peanuts, no salt, the natural honey, raw, prep, raw. I, I don't, I won't take just honey. I want to know that it's raw, and then. Ezekiel bread, which is a combination of all kinds of grains. I just sit here eating so easily. It's just an easy, easy snack to turn to. Mm -hmm. So the gates just closed as I was coming up to this. Now I gotta deal with waiting. Lots of fun. They got a variety of cars. Unending. There is no sign to the end of this. Guessing this old fire hydrant's no longer in use. Got some uh, grapes growing on the fire hydrant. They look in good shape. All right, my car is over there. And now I see a trail. Let's see, what rules do they have here? 
What? It's kind of rare to see metal detecting signs. I think the last one I saw was on a beach. They didn't want metal detectors on a beach.